Hi everyone, it's the Comic Fan Man here coming at you with another video. And in today's video, we're going to have a look here at the DC Multiverse Batman Classic TV Series, The Batman. The Adam West Batman. And um, this was a figure that uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to get. I did like the way he looks. But again, I'm not really a superhero style collector. I like sticking to the fantasy, like sword and sorcery genre. But um, recently in the New York City Comic Con, um, McFarlane Toys announced the uh, Christopher Reeves uh, 1978 Superman. So I figured, okay, if he's going to do that and... Um, I, I definitely have to get the Christopher Reeve Superman. So I really kind of wanted to have an Adam West Batman to go with him. And yeah, I am really, really hoping that this means that um, at, that they must be working on maybe a Linda Carter Wonder Woman as well. Because I think that would be amazing to have the Trinity in the uh, classic... Um, the classic film style uh, TV series and film. It would be wonderful to have Adam West, Christopher Reeve, and Linda Carter all together um, in this style. All right, let's open them up and see what we got. All right, so here he is out of the box with all of his accessories here. And uh, yeah, as you can see, he came with these extra set of hands so he can do the bat to see. Let's go. First off, he comes with the normal McFarlane peg stand. I was really hoping that this was going to say like, you know, the classic style Batman or something like that. Adam West Batman. Uh, but no, it's just a regular DC um, peg, which is fine. You know, they are what they are. Um, he does come with this sweepstakes card. Um, so I am going to like uh, give this a try and see what it is. Um, I think it's um, it's actually the cowl, the Adam West cowl. So I am going to check that out. Maybe I win. Who knows? We'll find out. But um, yeah, look at all. He comes with these extra set of hands. These are pointing hand, pointing fingers he's out there like hey they're that way or you know maybe like he could put this on his chin like hmm so that's kind of cool and he also comes with these two gripping hands and two things to grip uh here comes a batarang which i don't really remember him using outside of like you know grappling to climb the building um oh maybe that's why there's this little hole here oh that might be a place to tie a string so i can do the walking up the side of the building that they used to do oh that's interesting i didn't even think about that and then this one is uh like some kind of bat monitor so he could be looking at it i guess trying to find out what's going on where's the bad guys so that's kind of cool now let's take a look at Adam West himself. And first and foremost, look at the cape. Woohoo! That's really nice. It's a really nice fabric. Very shiny. And it's got wire. So it can be posed. Nice. Good job, McFarlane Toys. That's fantastic. I love it, love it, love it. Really, really nice upgrade to the cape. I hope we'll see this a lot more um, from the future figures. Um, there are, uh, he did a lot of uh, Comic-Con um, reveals and he did show that he's gonna do uh, BVS, um, Armored Batman, um, a Superman Doomsday 2 pack, uh, the Gal Gadot Wonder Woman. And all of the capes on the figures looks like they're fabric wired capes. So I'm really, really looking forward to getting those um, because BVS was obviously one of my favorite movies. Um, 
and the uh, the Snyder DCEU. I, I know it wasn't very popular, but I did really enjoy um, those movies. I did like the art style, and I did feel that the uh, the story, although it wasn't your classic like Superman and Batman style stories, I thought they were a really really interesting retelling. And you know, once DC decided to go back to the regular Marvel style formula. You can see that all their movies pretty much suffered after that. Um, you know, I am hoping that James Gunn is going to do something good with Superman, but eh, I don't know. I think they should have just let Zack Snyder finish his trilogy and then um, and then move, moved on from there. Like, there is no reason why they couldn't just finish that up because it, it was making money. For as much as, you know, the critics and all of them was complaining about it, th those movies did make money. Um, all right, so back to Adam West Batman here. Um, really good articulation all over the place. The shoulders, um, again, if you're not careful, they can show a little bit of a gap, but really it's not that big of a deal. Um, I like the fact that he doesn't have all the crazy, like, comic book style proportion of muscles and stuff. You know, Adam West was a regular average dude. I mean, he was fit. And this Batman definitely looks like a fit average guy. But look at the mask here. This is fantastic. Looks exactly like Adam West's mask. And Adam West. Like, this is fantastic. Look at all the little detail up here with the, the helmet. That's great and perfect Batman Adam West logo and the belt too with the uh, the the gold over the yellow. That's exactly the way it looked. I mean, they did McFarlane Toys um, designers really did an amazing job here. And again, this is a perfect example of not needing too many paint washes. Um, you know, not needing really any paint washes. They just relied on the flat colors. And the figure looks fantastic. Just fantastic. No need for the for the paint wash if you select the right color palettes, the right color tones. Love it, love it, love it. And um, yeah, uh, again, I wasn't sure if I, I... I didn't think I was going to pick this up. But then I saw him announce the uh, Christopher Reeve Superman, 1978. And I said, you know what? It'll really, really be nice to have these classic stars um, on my shelf in these iconic outfits. And um, so, yeah, so I am glad to to have found this and um, and put them in my collection. Um, I don't know how I'm going to pose him. I might just leave him in the bat Tusi Because I, I think that's really fantastic that he can do that. And the articulation in his arms are fantastic enough to, to, to do that really, really nicely. Uh, so I might actually just leave him like that because that looks great. I'll, I'll pose out his cape a little different. But, uh, but yeah, I think this looks fantastic. I don't have any complaints for this. And I can't wait for that Christopher Reeve Superman to put them side by side. All right, and here he is getting ready to chuck the battering at somebody or something. Um, yeah, again, all the articulation on this figure really allows for some really nice dynamic posing. Um, it's got all the regular... McFarlane articulation, um, but really, really nice. Very well done. Uh, it's got all the ratcheted ball joints, but yeah, very poseable. The, the the waist doesn't get in the way. Oh, and the ankles are really cool. Look at this. He actually molded the ankles. They are the ball joints, but he molded them in a way where they really kind of look very nice, like the boots, and that's fantastic. The team did a really great job with that. And all the uh, the, fat, the the work on the gloves here. Look at that. Really very nice. Great, great job. You know, I showed you the, the mask earlier. And yeah, it definitely looks like Adam West. I like the fact that they did all the, the seams. 
um, that he had. Really great. <clears throat> but yeah, take a look. He's got a nice uh, articulation point there in the midsection. Great, great figure. Love it, love it, love it. And um, yeah, I'm hoping that when he does the... Uh, I mean, the Superman does kind of look like he has all of the same um, design. The uh, Christopher Reeve Superman. Oh, he doesn't want to stand here. Right. Peg, peg stand it is then, buddy. Um, I am hoping that when he does do the... Uh, whoa, even with the peg stand. What's going on here? I He was just standing. Really? Now that I now that I want to show it off, he doesn't want to do it. Come on, dude. Stop messing with me. Uh, there it is. Finally. Oh my god, that was weird. <laughs> I had him standing before. It was so so weird. But in any case, um, yeah, I'm hoping that the uh, the Christopher Reeve Superman is every bit as articulated as this. Um, because everything is nice and easy to move around. It is not, like sometimes the McFarland toys figures are super tight and you gotta like almost crack the joints before they move around, but this figure wasn't like that at all. And I'm hoping that the Christopher Reeve Superman is gonna be in the same style. But yeah, take a look, you know, a $20 figure. Yeah, for sure. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And um, the Christopher Reeve Superman is gonna be part of the collectors McFarlane collectors um wave so he's his price point is going to be in the 30s I think he's going to be like 32 33 dollars something like that but definitely worth it for me um to have both of them side by side yeah it's definitely going to be great and again McFarlane toys really really I hope you guys are working on Linda Carter because putting that trinity together definitely definitely worth it and who knows, maybe that'll lead to other things like The Flash from the 90s um, being made. And here he is contemplating his findings and trying to explain it all to Witchblade. <laughs> I think this is great. I love these little hand positions. It, it's so cool because he used to do that all the time in the, in the TV series when he was uh, trying to figure out what was the scheme. And he was always talking to Robin. <clears throat> so yeah i think this is really really neat and again the articulation is really really great good enough to get the fingers up to the chin there i love that i think that looks fantastic and uh no i do not have a dick ward robin but i do have a witch blade which uh you know if you know anything about that batman the history of that batman series you know him and uh dick ward and all those uh actors kind of got down after filming if you know what i mean <laughs> you can look it up on the documentaries about the the show and how it was done um yeah it was a wild time those 60s all right and here he is along with my current dceu trinity figures um now i didn't i never picked up the gal gadot wonder woman but this is the uh, wonder woman from dc 52 rebirth i believe it was and um <clears throat> this was before mcfarlane toys took over i think this was still a mattel figure um but um he did he did announce that um uh, a new gal gadot wonder woman is coming out and she looks fantastic um so i am looking forward to getting her to put her along with uh with these two but um yeah as you can see Adam West is definitely doing his own thing. He's like, I don't care about your problems. I don't care about your Snyder drama. I'm here to do my bat to see. <laughs> and I think it looks great. Um, you know, when I when I get my uh, Christopher Reeve Superman, <clears throat> and hopefully one day he'll release a Linda Carter Wonder Woman, I'll be able to have my own uh, classic. Um, movie property tv property uh trinity going and um in the 
DCEU figures, the Superman is exactly the same Superman, but he has a he has a, ver a cloth cape um, with wire as well. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to pick that up, although I do kind of like the way the Doomsday look, even though he's just really kind of a big overgrown gray ogre with some um, gold highlights. I do kind of like the way he looks, so I might actually get it. <clears throat> And to have a Henry Cavill Superman with a cloth cape, uh, yes please. And um, this was um, the Batman that he released from the BVS. Although I did a head swap because I found um, this head. Um, this is a more accurate Ben Affleck head um, from one of the um, Mattel uh, figures. And I popped off the head and I put it on this one to make it uh, look more like Ben Affleck. And I think that came out fantastic. So yeah, I look forward to getting the uh, Wonder Woman and put it along these guys. All right, so if you enjoyed this look at Adam West Batman from 1960s, Please give me a like and subscribe if you feel that I've earned it. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.